back up. Is everyone all right? Oh, where are the rest of your... Never mind. We'll just have to make do. Listen carefully, Agent. I know you must have questions, but right now, you're in the midst of a mission, and it's imperative we get you moving. First things first. It looks like you've been injured. I'm remote activating the medical device in that safe room. You can use that terminal to treat any long-term injuries. Good. Now, I notice you have some data nugs on your person. Please submit them at the next terminal, and I'll transmit your board-approved agent upgrades. Take that. It seems you're also in possession of a blueprint. You can turn that in at the weapons printer. I'll take that. Excellent. In the event of another mission abort, you'll be able to access that assault rifle on your next attempt. Okay, you're all set. Let's resume the mission. Hey everyone, Chris here from Round Table Collab. Jumping into Blackout Protocol for the very first time. This is developed by Ocean Drive Studio and it came out on Steam Early Access on the 20th of July and it's set to be an Early Access for about a year. And I have been jumping into playing and struggling actually because I'm playing solo. This is really built for three player co op. Um, and because I play in Western Australia at my stupid Australian time, I very rarely get a match online. So I've been playing a new mode called Rogue Mode, which is for one player. Enemy HP is 80% and data nug drop rate is 75% of what you would get in the squad screen. So the rogue uh, mode is, is in beta, even though this whole thing is in early access. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's a twin stick shooter, isometric twin stick shooter. And I love the graphic style. The characters are pretty cool. So we have Boy Scout here, whose special ability is outburst a primal outburst of latent telekinetic ability damages and repels nearby foes and i actually didn't realize this but you can actually move across sideways with these arrows but when i first played it for a couple of hours i was just playing this boy scout and getting super frustrated but we can also play as red 
So Red's ability is Overtime, a mysterious synthetic connection to machines. Temporarily increases reload speed and rate of fire. We have Scalpel, Severance, a merciless close range finisher, lunges at a single enemy, dealing high psychic damage and regaining it as health if the target is killed. And then finally we have Beaker. She has Recovery Vial, a miraculous chemical cocktail courtesy of a triple PhD in advanced biotech, heals oneself and nearby allies. I'm actually going to try Beaker because, as I said before, I've been playing as a uh, Boy Scout and getting absolutely owned. So I'm going to jump into Rogue and we will have a look. <laughs> Bullets are company assets. Please conserve ammo as much as possible. Look for restricted areas hidden throughout the facility. You can unlock them with a security key for extra challenges and rewards. Oh, what a cool car! So it looks like every superhero, every hero has a has their own vehicle. Because Red's Red Scout has like a, a four wheel drive. That's pretty good. Okay, so I haven't unlocked much in terms of weapons yet because I haven't actually finished a run because it's too damn hard. Let's try it with Beaker this time. So I'm just gonna press and hold. And this first level is the parking lot, which is a lot of fun. I like the camera as it moves, which we'll see soon. Just wanted to, just a quick overview of the game first. So shed some light and spray some lead in a challenging top-down co-op shooter for up to three players. Unlock new weapons and grow stronger as you battle your way through the shifting corridors of a top secret research base under assault from beyond. So as I said, asymmetric, I'm playing on keep uh, mouse and keyboard. And light plays a big factor, which I'll explain soon when we get to a certain spot. You can see the torch light there. So very good graphics, runs very super smooth. And I found it's it kind of procedurally generated, so most of the missions I've played at this level go through this way, but a couple of them went through this way and I actually found like a little secret area just in there. You can, you can kind of see the edge of something there, but oh, there's one stuck. So you can hold down right mouse button to kind of zoom in a bit. Contact. Uh, so sound obviously makes people make zombies come to you. You can get a grenade here, which I will pick up. And that puts it into your slot here, number three. So when number one is a handgun, number two is a rifle, and number three is a grenade. And as I pick up other things, I can swap out. So I can't just have a grenade plus something else plus something else. It's got to be in there. My special ability is Q, and I can dodge with spacebar. There is a hef there's a little bit of a cooldown on dodge, so you can't just spam it. Oh god! Reloading takes a fair while too. So, so far, uh, Boy Scout feels a lot more stronger than this one, but she, this one has a heal, so that's going to be a good benefit. So there still... Oh, that's interesting. So usually... Yeah, right, it's changed again. So usually this is all blocked, and there's, there's a way to go there, but that's blocked, and you can go through here, but... Oh, it's probably because of my character. With Boy Scout, you have to kind of do a, uh, a ground slam and push that gate open and walk through there but maybe because they know I'm not a good uh, boy scout um, yeah they give me that so you can pick up med kits and ammo kits now if you're playing in co-op you individually so you can't loot it and the team gets gets everything so the first person to grab the med kits and the ammo gets it Reloading. basically so you need to kind of work together in it uh, when you're playing co-op. Oh, a little sneaky dude, I didn't even see. So, Assault Rifle 2. So we need to have some funds. I've only got 333, when you need 400 to buy that. Uh, how can I compare to what I've got? So, that's 
12, 8.3. And then this is 12, 8.3 as well. So it's kind of, even though it says Assault Rifle 2, I don't see the benefit yet. This one opens up and we get a nether cube, a mysterious cube-like device that draws out latent cognitive potential, grants a synaptic enhancement. So I'm going to grab that. So here is where you can choose, you got, you've got a minute or 50 seconds to choose a bonus here to add plus to these so you got plus 25 percent damage to tactical gear uh plus 70 percent weapon damage when both equipment or weapons are from the same department and surprise attack plus 50 percent against that it's not really not currently engaged in combat so i'm gonna go for that one nice nice indeed so that means i can go a little slower so a uh, hologram decoy which could be i actually might grab that which I have been going on the on the Red Boy Scout missions. Oh, there you go. oh man. That was a big guy there. Wish I had that grenade right about now. Nice. All right. So what I'm going to do is get some ammo. Sometimes it's a bit hard to pick up on your one. Okay, so if I buy that. Okay, so it's 12, 5.3. Oh, I see. So when you level up the weapon, it has your shot time with it. Maybe I will buy it. I can work with that. Let's do it. Okay, you can blow those up, but I'll save that. Oh, I should have done that before, anyway. Okay. Oh, God, there shoots back, so you gotta be careful. Cover me. And then, when we get to here... Oh, watch yourself, look at this. Ammo. So I'm gonna come back here. I don't think there was any ammo left, but we'll see. Oh, there was one. Let's look at the med kit. Sweet. Okay. So there's no way to sprint. This is as fast as you can go. So now, before I talked about light, you can see these little creature things, little alien dudes, will shy away from the light same time they come and sneak up after you so you can see on my health bar there's a blue bar which is my actual health and there's that purple bar which is like a mind bar mind power and these little dudes will if if you let them will nibble away at your mind power which is really frustrating in the fight that's I'm come detecting up. outages in that area so there's that kind of camera we'll change which is really cool i haven't seen that rebooted. often in a isometric game like this Oh, I should get a grenade. Okay. Cool. There's more ammo there. So I'm pretty good for now for ammo, because I know there's more coming up. Oh, jeez. Reloaded. It's not good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so you can see the, the number of these little dudes is growing to the when you get to here this bit here oh see that he just tapped me they tapped me for my purple bar there actually i don't know if a grenade that's a that's a um decoy let me grab that so this is the bit i don't think i can save scum can i no i can't save scum so i chase these dudes away actually Probably what I could do. See, look out, they're just so hungry. They come around and they get you. You can hear that little tap, tap, tap. Little bastards. 
Alright, so this this is the room which I can't get past with uh, the other character. Just trying to get these guys to disperse a bit. Which they're not willing to do. They depress that and they keep sneaking up on me. Alright, so the light's on. So now they go away. I'm going to throw my little big boy. Because what's about to happen is this. Oh shit, wrong weapon. Oh god. That guy there. Once you get hit. Once. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, they're locking the room. Oh, Jesus Christ. See? How freaking hard is that? Solo. It'd be so much better with co-op. Attempt 5. Process terminated. Boo. And because I didn't get to a safe room, my pro none of my progress saves. So I have to restart. I send back. And they spawn a new soldier. And she... Oh, I restarted as the same character. I wanted to kind of quit out and try a different one. Oh, and I didn't even use... That was silly. I didn't even use my bloody special... Alright, I'm going to try it again. I didn't use my special heal ability. That was dumb. I don't know if that decoy was was useful or not. Let's try. Okay, credits reset each time you start a new run, so spend them when you need them. Okay. So it was a good idea to get that new rifle then. Ah, see, so now this is active. So let's change it again. Ooh. Security clearance. A card that provides authorization to enter a restricted area is used to open a locked security door. We'll grab that. Just pop it this one. There we go. And then we come in here, and there's an arc cannon, which we can get. But I actually don't like the arc cannon. I'll show what I mean. So there's an arc cannon, and then. Oh, arc cannon 2. That's cool to get it for free, though. Uh, so it's 10. Oh, 2.1 second reload time. Ouch. It has plus 50% clip size, which is 75. Speed 5, so it's a little slower. Let's try it. I keep dying, so let's try something new. Alright, so that's those two weapons. Okay. We open this, and then we're into it. Oh my gosh. That's that's a bit of a right. How's my ammo? 32. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Let's get this. Actually, I'm moving slower because it must be a heavier weapon. Maybe. Too bad. Don't mind that at all. Oh crap. Oh shit. Ah, uh, two second reload. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is this weapon? A flamethrower cannot. Oh wow. So we got all that there, we'll save that. We got this thing here, which is that. Oh, the nether cubes. Oh, you automatically become a. F oh, wow. Oh, max, hey, max HP will automatically recover. Oof, max HP. Nice. That's great. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that ammo. The other thing this doesn't do like AoE. I can't change the arc. That's still pretty bloody good. Uh. Oh crap. 
Ah, uh, it does arc. What is that? Is that a blueprint? Oh, arc pattern blueprint. Unlocks a new weapon. Unlocked weapons can be selected at the start of the next game. Nice! We've got to get to a safe house. So, I got 40 of 100. That should be okay to get past this bit. in that area. You'll have to detour to the power station and reboot it. You can follow the access route past the cargo elevator. Okay, let's get some health. And... Nah, I'm not gonna get the flamethrower. a better feeling about with this weapon. What was these little biters? Stay away. Oh shit, you bastards. Let's see it. They sneak up on you without you even knowing. Reloading. Alright, do I want a grenade or do I want a decoy? Maybe we'll try a grenade because we know there's a heap of them. So, where'd that grenade? Was that a grenade there? No, it's a decoy. There's a grenade. Right, let's go with the grenade. Hey, piss off. Hey, stop that. Stop that. So I kind of edge myself over here. How did that? Oh god. Off me! Alright, here we go. I've got two grenades actually. Sweet. Let's do this. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Yes! I've never got this far before. That little AOE heal didn't do much. Submachine gun blueprint unlocks a new weapon. Unlocked weapons can be selected at the start of the next game. Nice. Oh, okay. So, reactivate the station. Did I do that? No? Alright, the power is restored. I can open the way through now. You should be able to move on to the next area. How then? Okay. There's ammo. Oh, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Not bad. Okay, so I've got the decoy, not a grenade. Gotta be careful here. Right, this is unknown territory for me. Oh, safe room? Safe house? Safe room. Oh my gosh. You can breathe now. These yes. safe rooms are built throughout the facility for use in exactly this sort of scenario. If you're suffering from any long-term injuries, you can use the medical equipment to recover. As a reminder, 
All assets acquired during your mission are the exclusive intellectual property of S2P. Please submit all data nugs and blueprints at the appropriate terminals. All right. So, oh, that just, what does that do? I don't know what that does. It was, ah, residual effects from near death. Okay. So that's the flamethrower. No, that's a minigun. Assault rifle, flashbang. Firearms, a mysterious cube like device that draws out latent cognitive potential. Grants a firearm enhancement. Oh, let's get it. Ooh. Weapons that deal physical damage deal to. Uh -huh. Upon killing a target, weapons that deal physical damage receive a plus three for first. Oh. Upon killing a target, weapons that deal physical damage receive a plus three for boot cats for boost amount. Resets upon being downed. Okay, bloodshot. Nice. Nice indeed. What's this one? This one. Weapons printer, a terminal that accesses the STP archives, register recovered blueprints to unlock weapons. Let's do it. Submachine gun one. You can view unlocked weapons and event. Mm -hmm. Art cannon one. That's so cool. And then what's this one? This is DNS Dag Fragmenter, a device that decrypts memories corrupted by the death nullification process, allowing agents to upgrade their skills, requires data nugs to use. Have I got any? 26. Uh, probably isn't, no, that's fine. Roll recharges 15% faster. I think we need a lot of that. Mag pouch, yes. Maybe we'll go 15 at that, and yeah, we want heaps of ammo. That. Did that. Now we've got, I definitely got no nugs left. Zero. Sweet. Okay. Mm, do I want a grenade? No, that's, that's a flashbang, that's right. Oh, we also want something else in here. This will be ammo and health, probably. Yeah, let's get some health. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do it. The lobby. Nerve center of section 13. While panicked, your sight range will be restricted. Shelter in a lit spot until you catch your breath. So that, way, that means if you lose all of your purple bar, your sight will be significantly reduced. Okay, so you've got to stand under some lights to kind of recharge that. This area was built with multiple containment barriers to serve as nested fallback points. You can open containment barriers using the yellow terminal nearby. Just be ready for what might come through. This guy's a bloody tough. Oh, so I, I'm I'm destroying their mind stat too. That's why they weren't shooting at me properly. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Alright. Jeepers. Reload. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's a nano tech thing. Nether cube, that's right. Okay, weapons that deal side damage. Oh, yeah. Yep. So we're doing sonic damage at the moment. Nice. Let's do that. Okay, so. When I open this, it's going to unlock the floodgates. Oh god, I gotta survive waves. Oh 
Oh shit, so you're at race set. Oh my god! Ah oh, man. So, re uh, dodging resets your reload. Which I am not used to. Ouch. Okay, so I got those blueprints at least, and I got from the parking lobby to. Oh, sorry, the parking lot to the lobby. One, two, three, four. So there's currently five levels that we can play through and get to mission complete. Oh. Well, that was damn cool. Uh, so I wonder if I. What's seventh again? She does. Close range finisher lunges at a single enemy, dealing high psychic damage and regaining it as health if the target is killed. Right. Then you can go to the SCP archives. You can have a look at your upgrades. So I have done a little bit of ammo and things like that. On oh, I actually know that's the armory. So I've got arc cannon, submachine gun, assault rifle. So I can choose a few more guns now in the armory. I wonder if I go back to Beaker and then look at the archives. See if that changed the upgrades. No, same. It's interesting. Agent upgrade 0.7% points. Okay. All right, well, my name is Chris from Roundtable Golf. That was a very quick look at Blackout Protocol by Ocean Drive Studio. You'll see my review up on roundtablecoop.com. And this is the early access version. So it's going to be an early access for about 12 months. And there's a development roadmap on the Steam page. So go check it out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next video.